Because normally uh, in Puppy Linux, uh, you want to use uh, Puppy uh, Package Manager uh, to find uh, and install uh, applications uh, for your own use. Uh, I'm running a, a more recent version of what's called uh, Fossa Pup 64, um, what's called a minimal version. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, for example, if you are a Brave a browse user, if you just type in Brave, you will not get a hit uh, uh, on the Puppy Package Manager. Then uh, what can you do? There are several options, but the one major option that's fairly easy in Puppy Linux is to um, go to a uh, site that is uh, sponsored by Mike Walsh who is one of the members of the uh, Puppy uh, Linux forum. Uh, he has uh, gathered large number of packages and uh, it, I'll leave a link to his address uh, and this is the information on him. And he has under his signature the three major categories and we're going to concentrate on this category here, the last category. And if you just click on that link then you'll get to a group of uh, applications. For example, Audacity is here, and Blender, and uh, br under browsers, we're gonna get inside of it uh, fairly soon. But the Dead Beef, uh, music players here, and Digicam, which is a photo editor, and so on. So he has large number of uh, uh, major files. Here's a GIMP, uh, Google Earth, so ink escape a lot of a lot of these programs will be in puppy package manager but if uh if so for some reason your uh puppy linux does not uh have it on puppy package manager one of the options is to look at this uh mike's uh, site and take a look so uh although i use uh, vivaldi as my own uh major browser uh, for demonstration purposes, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, install uh, a, bra a Brave browser. So we'll just go into the uh, double click into the browsers here, and here's the Brave. I've, uh, I'm using Vivaldi here, but we'll go ahead and click on the Brave. And uh, you'll get a portable 64. These uh, these uh, programs are what's called a portable uh, uh, applications, uh, which means that it is uh, pretty much its own uh, package of applications, which all contains the uh, configuration files and also the all the dependencies. So, what you want to do is get. In this case, it's ju this is just the MD5 for security purposes, but uh, you, what you want to do is a click and then just download. And I've already done that, uh, so we'll go ahead and get to... Uh, so we'll just go ahead and close these. Here is the download folder where I have downloaded the Brave Portable uh, TARXC. So what we what you want to do is just go ahead and extract it. So we'll just go ahead and click on it and it'll extract and we'll extract it. So it only takes cup, uh, uh, a couple of minutes at most and I have a slow computer here but uh, it, wor it seems to work fine. What you're gonna have is just one major folder Okay, so within it, it's going to contain all the uh, configuration and so on. And, and w of, of interest is uh, to uh, look at that uh, menu add. So a lot of portable pr uh, programs, you will not have it on available on the menu. But uh, what you want to do is click... Uh, click on this and then uh, add it to the menu for uh, your convenience and then what I tend to do though is what I find most helpful is just not use it obviously under download a folder so what you want to do is 
what I prefer to do is just put it in OPT folder move it to the OPT folder I should say so OPT folder and here's a, a Vivaldi that I use but we'll just go ahead and move this grab it and move it over and then just move it okay so once you do that you don't really uh, need this uh, uh, anymore obviously and what you're going to deal with it is this so you can go ahead and click and then you can click to the add menu so we'll just go ahead and click and then uh, see if it added to the menu and internet here is a brave portable that's just been added okay so if you decide you don't want to use it obviously you just uh, menu remove now it's not obvious but uh, all this portable uh, will have either launch or launch dash and L normal and L so in this case there's no M uh, and L so you just go ahead and click it on the launch and it should launch the program so we'll just give it a minute and here is the uh, brave browser so that's how easy it is to uh, to install a brave browser or any browser in puppy Linux if you don't find it in uh, in uh, puppy package manager so uh, so there's several ways of to launch just go ahead and drag it out on the out on the desktop here and you can go ahead and launch it that way it launches it again or you can go ahead and once you have it on the desktop for example you can go ahead and change the name here to the brave and also you could uh, go ahead and uh, make a keyboard shortcut so uh, let's see control shift and V just for demonstration control shift and V and OK and then we're going to uh, do the control shift and V again and then it launches it and then you can uh, even go ahead and uh, take a look at the uh, file brave and then file brave here and then set icon and then you can put in a different icon uh, of your choice and so on so that's how you can go ahead and uh, use one of these portable uh, programs which uh, is a great service to the puppy Linux community by Mike Walsh I hope this is helpful and clear for you thanks